On this day a year ago, Texas' electric power grid was only four minutes and 37 seconds away from a complete collapse. The 2021 February freeze left millions of Texans in the dark without heat for days, and it happened in the midst of the 87th Texas legislative session. Lawmakers mandated changes to our power grid, but were they w enough? KXAN's Maggie Glynn checks in a year later with the leaders of the Public Utility Commission and ERCOT. Tuesday from the Capitol, Democratic state representatives are still calling for more action after last February's deadly freeze. Texans died because of a failure in government. The PUC, which oversees ERCOT, says our grid is now more reliable than ever. PUC Chairman Peter Lake points to this month's cold snap as proof of progress. New rules were passed and we saw them in action in the February winter weather event. While this storm's wintry conditions didn't compare to last year's, Lake points to untapped power available this time around. We had enough excess power during the peak demand during that period to cover the estimated demand from winter storm URI. And then some. The PUC required power generators to weatherize by December 1st, meant to prevent mechanical freezing issues that led to outages last year. Still, critics say current weatherization requirements aren't enough. We're going to have more extreme and intense weather the direction that we're going. Which is why the state is working with a climatologist for the second phase of weatherization requirements. Helping us to see what those potentials are for our future. Natural gas suppliers overseen by the Railroad Commission did not have to weatherize before this winter. We did not require the same for the gas that feeds the power companies. The Railroad Commission is expected to lay those specific requirements out later this year. I wish that they had moved as quickly as the Public Utility Commission in getting something ahead of this winter. In the meantime, ERCOT is working to establish a gas desk that would let the state know when suppliers run into issues and can come up with a solution in real time before the problem pulls generators offline. Perhaps there's a compressor that's not working. If we have that information, that makes our entire system more reliable. That was Maggie Glenn reporting beyond physical improvements. The state also established the Texas Energy Reliability Council. It consists of members of the PUC, ERCOT, and the Texas Railroad Commission, and the Texas Division of Emergency Management to improve interagency cooperation and communication.